Six Types of Speech Impediment Speech and language impediment is a very broad term that refers to a communication disorder in an individual that has depressed social, language, communication, hearing, or fluency skills. A speech impairment relates to the way an individual produces or articulates specific sounds. One example of this is stuttering. Under the umbrella of a speech impairment lies several different types of disorders with which a child or adult can be diagnosed. Before going any further, make sure to like, subscribe and press on the bell icon. 1. Apraxia of speech. Apraxia of speech is a neurogenic communication disorder that involves the planning system for speech. Individuals with apraxia know what they want to say, but there is a disconnect in the part of the brain that tells a specific muscle to move. When someone is diagnosed with apraxia of speech, they may have signs of groping, which is where the mouth searches for the position to create the sound. When this occurs, it affects how long or short the sounds are, and could lead to odd pitch or volume issues and to sounds being distorted or substituted. A telltale sign of someone who has apraxia is that they lose the ability to produce sounds that they previously could say. For instance, if you ask a child to say the word, dog, which they do successfully and then ask them to say the same word again 10 minutes later, they will not be able to do it. 2. Speech Sound Disorder Speech sound disorders may be of two varieties, articulation or phonological processes. An articulation disorder may take the form of substitution, omission, addition, or distortion of normal speech sounds. Phonological process disorders may involve more systematic difficulties with the production of particular types of sounds, such as those made in the back of the mouth, like K and G. Educating a child on the appropriate ways to produce a speech sound and encouraging the child to practice this articulation over time may produce natural speech. 3. Stuttering. Stuttering is a disruption in the fluency of an individual's speech, which begins in childhood and may persist over a lifetime. Stuttering is a form of disfluency that is an inability to produce fluent speech. Disfluency becomes a problem because it impedes successful communication between two parties. Disfluencies may be due to unwanted repetitions of sounds, or the extension of speech sounds, syllables, or words. Disfluencies also incorporate unintentional pauses in speech, in which the individual is unable to produce speech sounds. Unfortunately, the cause of stuttering is unknown, which makes it more difficult to treat. Treatment can vary from person to person depending on the severity and type of stuttering that is occurring. 4. Specific language impairment. Specific learning impairment is diagnosed when a child's language is not developing as rapidly or as typically as other children. In order for a child to be diagnosed with specific learning impairment, they cannot have autism spectrum disorder, apraxia, hearing loss, or an abnormality of the speech mechanisms. If those disorders are present, they do not have specific learning impairment and are exhibiting speech patterns typical of those diagnoses. Usually, the first indication of specific learning impairment is that the child is later than usual in starting to speak and subsequently is delayed in putting words together to form sentences. Spoken language may be immature. In many children with specific learning impairment, understanding of language, or receptive language, is also impaired, though this may not be obvious unless the child is given a formal assessment. This diagnosis is reserved for children whose language difficulties persist into school age, not for children who are speech delayed and eventually catch up to their peers. 5. Aphasia. Aphasia is an inability to comprehend or formulate language because of damage to specific brain regions. The major causes are a cerebral vascular accident, or head trauma, but aphasia can also be the result of brain tumors, brain infections, or neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia. The difficulties of people with aphasia can range from occasional trouble finding words, to losing the ability to speak, read, or write. Intelligence, however, is unaffected. Any person of any age can develop aphasia, given that it is often caused by a traumatic injury. However, people who are middle-aged and older are the most likely to experience the problem. 6. Language-Based Learning Disabilities Language-based learning disabilities occur in children who are falling behind their same-aged peers. These children will have difficulties with spelling, reading, and or writing, but have normal intelligence levels. This is a common source of academic struggles in young children and can often be misdiagnosed or missed in typical assessments. 
The key to supporting students with LBLD is knowing how to adjust curriculum and instruction to ensure they develop proficient language and literacy skills. Most individuals with LBLD need instruction that is specialized, explicit, structured, and multisensory, as well as ongoing, guided practice aimed at remediating their specific areas of weakness. If you feel like your child is exhibiting any signs or symptoms of these disorders, it's important that you make an appointment with a speech-language pathologist as soon as possible to get a full evaluation. If you have come across any of these speech impediment, please share it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.